Come and climb in my bed Don't be sad, do your thing Since I'm in my head I wanna flex with you, baby I'm tryna change another video. I'm so excited for this. So for this one, I did more of a mauve look and I kept it very matte. So um, this is very easy. I really like this look. It's a, a very natural look but still gives you more color. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Please stay tuned to see how to achieve the look and I will see you guys next time. Bye! So, we're going to take our NYX eyeshadow base, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to coat our eyes. And now we're taking NYX's finishing powder and the Morphe M438 and we're going to set our eyes. Now I'm picking up MAC Soft Brown and my Morphe M441 and I'm applying that to the crease. And now with that same brush, I'm picking up Cupcake by Makeup Geek. And I'm doing the same thing and just going over that in the crease. Next, I'm picking up Petal Pusher by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to apply that to the lid. And I'll be using this flat tip brush to apply it. Next, I'm going to take this long-haired Morphe brush, and I'm going to be in, and I'm going to be applying Unexpected by Makeup Geek in the outer face. Now I'm taking this flat tip brush, very thin, and I'm going to take Mac Nylon. And I'm going to apply that in the brow. Next, I'm taking NYX's Angel Veil. And I'm applying it all over my face. Next, I'm taking NYX's Pore Filler. And I'm just going to apply it to minimize those pores on my cheek and my nose. Now for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade 112. And I'll be applying it with my Morphe M439. Now I'm taking NYX's Sculpt and Highlight, and this is in the shade Light and Taupe. We're going to highlight and contour. Now I'm taking my Damp Beauty Blender, and we're going to blend it out. And now we're taking the NYX. And now we're taking the NYX finishing powder and our Morphe 
M438, and we're going to set our base. Now we're going to do brows, and I'm going to start off with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And this is in the number 6. And I'm going to kind of line them and fill them in a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with NYX's Tinted Brow Mascara. And I'm just going to coat my eyebrows. Now I'm going in with Unexpected by Makeup Geek. And I will be using this short little flat tip brush. It's really thin. And I'm going to line the bottom lash line. And now I'm going to pick up Cupcake by Makeup Geek. And then I'm going to also pick up my Morphe E18. I'm going to kind of smoke out that bottom lash line. Now I'm picking up Maybelline's Eye Studio Liner in the Blackest Black. I'm going to pick up this angled brush from Morphe. And we're going to do our little cat eye. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply our mascara and I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. Applying the Ardell Wispy Lashes using uh, the Duo Gel Blue. Now I'm taking the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in the color Celestial. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks, my nose, and the top of my lips. And I'm actually going to go over it with the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection. I'm just going to take a little bit of champagne pop and I'm just going to pop it right on top of that. And now with the same palette, I'm going to be taking Rose Spritz and Amaretta. And I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe E4 brush. So for lips, I'm picking up Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Androgyny. Alright guys, so this concludes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your family. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.